Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by as always. I'm so happy to have you. So happy to be here doing this for you guys. This is going to be a reading for the collective. Um, definitely going to take a peek here, okay? We're going to take a peek and see what is going on with your person's current energy. Yeah, like what is, how, what are their true feelings? What are they really thinking about you? We're going to take a look at that. Um, I feel like there's a no contact situation going on. So we're going to go ahead and tap in and see what the true feelings are, what the energy is um, towards you. Okay. And then we're going to take a look also and see um, what's ahead for this connection. Okay. Because I'm picking up on some very strong energy here. So you guys, welcome. Thank you so, so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And let's go ahead and tap in Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not. Please leave it. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, or your future. He, she, him, her. Okay, people, places, things. Take it how it fits. Spirit, please give us a clear message for this no contact situation. What are the true feelings for divine feminine, divine masculine? What are the true feelings? What is the energy here that we're getting? Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective your specific person, your SP. What is the message for the collective during this no contact situation? Yeah, I feel like there's no communication. Somebody's thinking about you. I'm seeing imagine, okay? Yeah, this may surprise you. That's why I'm getting this feeling like this This energy, what comes out here just may surprise you, right? Um, somebody is imagining, thinking about you, right? Um, you're heavily on this person's mind is what I'm getting. I'm getting that you guys share a lot of the same things, the same thoughts and things like that. Um, I'm seeing that this person is tired of being without you. I feel like this person feels as though it's time for a break from this no communication, this no contact energy. Okay. Yeah. And that's the truth, right? Like I'm feeling this is the truth of the matter. Look, loyal heart. This person is still loyal to you. I feel like you're probably wondering, Divine Feminine, I'm picking up on the energy to whereas you're wondering if there's someone else. Have they been seeing someone else during this no contact, during this separation? This person is loyal to you. Their heart is loyal to you. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that they still see you as a blessing, right? Yeah, this person absolutely sees you as a blessing. Um, I feel like this person is um, definitely, they're definitely reaching out um, for spiritual guidance at this time, right? Trying to figure out what to do, okay? Something to do with the supernatural. Mm -hmm. I feel like your person is tapped in. Um this is a divine masculine, okay? Um, I'm picking up on the energy. You guys are in no contact. Um, this could definitely be, this could be a twin flame separation is what I'm picking up on, okay? Yeah, spirit, please give us more. Mm -hmm. This person wants this union. This person wants to start over again. This person is thinking about how things will be, how to start over with you again. This is a never-ending story for them. This is not over, not in the least, okay? And again, I don't see where there's another party involved here at all regarding this, right? This person has been in hermit mode is what I'm getting, okay? They have been in hermit mode. There hasn't been anyone else, okay? And they're definitely fixated on you, okay? And again, they're they're getting like some type of spiritual guidance, reaching out um, to, to deal with this separation and also to find their way back to you is what I'm picking up on, right? 
So this person is definitely trying to figure things out with regards to you. Um, Spirit, what else do we have for the collective? Okay, there could be something to do with gossip that puts you guys in a separation. I am picking up on gossip. Um, I feel like your stars are going to align with this person eventually, okay? Yeah, but their true feelings, I'm seeing here like somebody, they're getting grounded. They haven't stopped watching you, right? So this person is still checking up on you, even though you guys are in no contact, you're in no communication, this person's still watching you, okay? I feel like this person does want a second chance or a new beginning. They want to start this over again. I feel like this person has definitely um, found an understanding regarding what took place, okay? I'm feeling like there's something, some heavily romantic feelings, heavy romantic feelings, right, um, regarding you. You're on their mind, right? This person wants to do things by the book. That could mean commitment, okay? That could mean a serious commitment when I see that, okay? That definitely gives me the hierophant energy where somebody is by the book, very traditional energy, okay? So this person definitely had to hit reset, right? Yeah, what else do we have here? Spirit, please give us more. Mm-hmm, this could, yeah, I feel like this is, I was going to say potentially be the one, but I feel like this is your person, okay? Yeah, I feel like this person really had to hit the reset and come to an understanding, really um, do the inner work, right? So to go within, to figure some things out after this last um, situation that caused you guys to go into no contact, Again, I'm seeing unfinished symphony, right? Yeah, this is, look, this is not over. What did I tell you? Mending. This person does want to mend things. They want to make things right, okay? Yeah, it's a very good sign. This card is definitely a very good sign. I'm seeing a lot of teamwork, partnership, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of teamwork, a lot of partnership ahead. This is what this person is thinking about this is what this person wants for this union, okay? Yeah, I feel like you guys, you typically do get along. This person sees you as being very poised, very attractive, right? Mm-hmm. What else do we have here? Spirit, please give us more. I feel like this person only has pure intentions for you. Very, very good intentions. By the book is what I'm getting with this person. By the book, okay? Spirit, what else do we have for the collective? Please give us a clear message for the collective. Yeah. Building blocks. This person wants to build with you. I feel like they're kind of kicking themselves because they are in no contact with you. They feel like they... um should have been able to work things out instead of separating from you. I feel like this person doesn't want to do this ever again. This experience was very difficult for them being apart from you, okay? But they did do they did utilize this time. They spent a lot of time searching, doing some soul searching, and like I said, doing some work going within. I'm picking up on that here, okay? Yeah, definitely going within and doing the work. Spirit, what else do we have? Mm-hmm. I feel like you're going to be getting a message soon from this person. This person's definitely going to want to check in with you soon, okay? I mean, they're still watching you. I feel like they're still keeping tabs on you, okay? Um, they're still very much active in your energy right now. I'm seeing a fork in the road. And again, that's just giving me that this person doesn't want to be apart from you any longer, right? They want to end this no contact is what I'm picking up on, right? I feel like this was much needed time for introspection for this person. You are their yin. Mm -hmm. You are their peace is what I'm getting, okay? I feel like... There's a lot of meditation going on as well, okay? This person is doing a lot of work. They are utilizing this time, okay? 
to improve things and doing a lot of reflecting, right? Um, I feel like there have been some seeds of doubt planted in the past. I feel like there have been um, some gossip, maybe some lies, some dishonesty, right? That did plant some seeds of doubt or made you doubt this, right? Doubt this person. This is definitely, um, that definitely could be the reason why you guys are in no contact, right? A deep knowing. Okay, so this person is definitely trying to figure out how to make you feel more secure in the relationship, trying to figure out what it is that they've done or what it is that they could have done better to prevent this, right? Because it's almost as if this person feels as though they have sabotaged this by not meeting your emotional needs, maybe a lack of communication or a lack of intimacy, okay? Yeah, but I do feel like you're going to get a message from this person or this person is going to reach out soon. That's what I'm picking up on. Um, I feel like... You know, this person is getting clarity, right? I feel like this no contact or lack of communication isn't going to go on much longer. Look, yeah, I'm seeing flexibility, okay? So this person is understanding things, things that are important for this connection. And maybe this person, it was like with regards to the communication, maybe you questioned some things and this person got a little irritated because you questioned their loyalty. Um, that could have caused the tiff, something like that. Like, you know, a per this person felt as though you should have just trusted them. You know, they didn't want to explain things. But I'm seeing a lot of flexibility going forward with this person regarding that and more communication. I feel like they do get that. Because um, I feel like, you know, also, too, there was some holding back feelings, right? So there definitely could have been an issue regarding emotional needs not being met. But I'm seeing, you know, this person coming back and I feel like you're, I'm getting a warm welcome, okay? I'm seeing soulmate energy here, okay? What else do we have here, Spirit? Please give us more. Yeah, I feel like they're going to be coming around, coming back around. I'm picking up on happy energy, right? This has been a prolonged period of absence on their part, right? But look, TikTok, I see it ending, okay? I see this prolonged period of absence ending, right? This person does not want to be without you, okay? Yeah, they have a clear vision now on what is important. This person definitely sees what is important. This is a priority. You are a priority. This person wants to work together to move forward with this with you. They definitely, I'm seeing a lot of compromise here with flexibility, okay? Yeah, I feel like this definitely triggered this person to go within. This has triggered this person to go within and they realize there is no place like home. I feel like this is kind of shocking because I'm picking up on the energy, Divine Feminine. You know, possibly you may have thought that there was somebody else in the picture or something like that. They may have been seeing someone else and I'm seeing the exact opposite, right? That's, yeah, I feel like this person's definitely been in hermit mode and doing the work, right? They utilize this time to do the work. Mm-hmm. What else do we have, Spirit? They have been losing sleep over you. That I can tell you. This person has been losing sleep over you. Difficulty. Um, they've been like dealing with uh, obsessing over you, obsessive thoughts, um, especially at night. It's been interrupting their, their sleep, thinking about you. They want the happily ever after with you. They want the family with you. Yeah, they see that you are someone that they can have a future with, right? Message in the bottle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like this reading is definitely tapping into this person's energy, right? And yeah, it's just like you are a beautiful source of happiness to this person. And they're realizing that even more with you guys being apart, okay? Come to the edge. Yeah, this person is definitely, especially intimately, I'm just saying, this person misses you and they don't want to be without you. They, they can't bear to be without you much longer, right? They want to talk to you. You're like their confidant. 
something to do with the community. That's what I was picking up on. There has been, been some gossip, some some seeds of doubt planted, um, rumors, things like that. Um, I feel like this person wants to focus on making you feel comfortable, helping you to trust, helping you to be vulnerable with them and knowing that their heart is loyal to you. They are loyal to you, okay? Yeah. Um, I'm also picking up on... I kept hearing validation and something to do with toxic, right? There's something that there were some toxic energies around you guys. I feel like somebody actually stirred the pot and caused issues with you guys. I'm seeing exchanging gifts. I feel like this is a soul contract. Um, I feel like um, this lesson is never going to be forgotten that they've learned in this, this no contact and being without you. But I am seeing a soul contract here exchanging gifts. I feel like you guys are a gift to one another. So this could definitely be a twin flame separation, right? Um, this could definitely be your divine counterpart, right? That you're currently in no contact with, not communicating with your divine counterpart, right? Yeah. To be fair. Mm. So I'm getting patience, understanding. This person's hoping that you'll understand, um, have patience with them when they come back towards you is what I'm picking up on. Yeah. What else do we have here? Spirit, please give us more. Mm-hmm. Please give us more, Spirit. What else do we have? Mm, definitely missing you, right? Definitely missing you. Look, confirmation. As soon as I said that, truth be told, this person misses you. And I feel like this is shocking to you because this person, you. I feel like you thought that this person was, you know, a player or maybe out there. Nah, they've been by themselves. They've definitely been by themselves. What else do we have, Spirit? Please give us more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they def they desperately want to reach out to you, right? They're cleaning stuff up. They're getting their ducks in a row, getting stuff cleaned up. They desperately want to reach out to you. They want to talk to you, right? They want to tell you how important you are to them, okay? That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm saying. They want you to know how important you are to them, that you can be vulnerable with them. They want your trust. I feel like there were some trust issues, right? And I feel like those trust issues stem from some seeds of doubt planted by jealous people, something to do with a group or the community, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else, Spirit? Please give us more. Yeah, they want you to know definitely that they are someone that you can depend on. Yeah, you can breathe. You can relax with them, right? They got you. That's the energy that they want you to know, right? If they can communicate this with you, this is what they want you to know, right? Yeah, don't turn your back. Don't turn the page. Don't give up on this connection. I'm seeing out to sea. They don't want you to send it out to sea, right? They want, they want to show you that they are the right person for you. This is what they're thinking about, okay? I'm getting intrusive thoughts, right? This person is experiencing intrusive thoughts concerning you and the things that they could have done better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they can't quiet their mind until they get back to you, right? That's what I'm picking up on, okay? Yeah, they're very unhappy without you. They're going to change this. You're going to get a message. Spirit, please give us more. The fates. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. This person wants you to trust them, not any outward or outside, um, any outside influences. They want you to focus on them, not the outside influences is what I got. Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more spirit. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, they want you to focus on the look, the here and the now, you and them, nothing about the past, nothing about the future. They want you to be present with them. They want you to be in the moment with them and trust what they're saying to you and trust them and know that they got you, that they are the one for you and that you can be vulnerable with them. That's what they want you to know. Mm-hmm. What else we got? Happy, happy, happy. I feel like you make this person happy and this person wants to make you happy, right? Yep. Yep. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more. Yeah, this person, definitely, they care about your emotional needs. They want to meet your emotional needs. They want to see you happy, okay? Yeah, there's no doubt about that. This person, and this is what they've been thinking about. And like I said, I'm seeing intrusive thoughts, right? Yeah, like, there's something to do with this person's sleep pattern. It's like they go to sleep thinking about you. They wake up thinking about you. They want. They don't want to keep thinking about you. They want to be next to you. Ooh, higher power. I told you this person is reaching out. Spiritual guidance, right? Definitely picking up on that. All right. What else do we have, spirit? What else we got? Mm-hmm. I feel like this was, this may have been a twin flame test. This is something that tested you guys, your union, tested the strength of your relationship, right? I feel like this is in divine timing. I feel like you guys have passed. This person's definitely coming around. They're understanding your needs and how to meet your needs. They definitely want to meet your needs. So it may have seemed like they didn't want to. They didn't want to put in the effort in the past, right? I feel like they had to do the work. They had to go within and also figure out what it is. They had to do the inner work to figure out how they could make you happy. And this is what this person, you're on their mind 24 seven, right? Yep. And they feel guilty. This person has a degree of guilt for believing or allowing. There's some energy that came in between you guys. My nose is itching. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm picking up on some telepathy, right? Somebody's thinking about you. Uh-huh. Right now as I'm doing this. Okay. Spirit, please give us more. Mm-hmm. They're going to take action towards you. It doesn't matter. Whenever, whatever, this person is going to take action towards you. Okay. Yeah. What else do we have here, Spirit? Please give us more. Look round and round. A lot of people thought that you weren't going to make it because you're in separation. Uh-uh. A lot of folks, these jealous energies, these people that spread it, rumors and things like that, they're going to have a rude awakening. Okay, it's going to be illuminated the true love that you guys share, the bond that you guys share with this connection. They're going to see it. Okay, this person is focused on you. They've done the inner work, the introspection, the healing has taken place. This, re this person's ready for the next level with this connection, is what I'm getting. Look, there could have been some chaos and conflict in the past, but look, a change is in the wind. Whatever it was that you guys had the conflict about, it's a non-factor now. It's no longer an issue. And this person wants to move forward to the future, right? And it's so interesting. We have the Pisces energy right now with the new moon. We're in that energy. New beginning, starting out fresh is what I'm getting, okay? Also, too, very beautiful energy, okay? I feel like there was a lot of things that this person didn't understand, with this connection, but they they have awakened. Look, they see that you are the prize, treasure island, right? Time to come out of this no contact, right? Mm-hmm. They know that you're the one. I'm seeing all the glitters is not gold. Something to do with all the glitters is not gold, right? So again, this person has not been with someone else. They're not... They're only interested in you. 
they they're not interested in you know this superficial type of energy in the times that we're in no and you're very attractive right divine feminine I'm, I'm picking up on that they know that they have the full package with you you there's substance with you okay yeah spirit please give us more please give us more mm-hmm and at first it was like they didn't know what the heck to do what the heck was going on with this connection right yeah it was like something very toxic something to do with a toxic lifestyle or something like that um somebody could be recovering from a toxic lifestyle yeah but i'm seeing at peace right they're at peace so it's like this person definitely went away to work on themselves yeah and there's a lifestyle change for some of you guys not all of you guys right this person is experiencing a lifestyle change okay yeah, I feel like somebody was trying to run away from their problems or possibly numb their problems in the past. This is a divine masculine now, right? Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm seeing balance. I'm seeing serendipity. I'm seeing happiness. Milk and honey, baby. Yeah, the sweet spot. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and go to the tarot, you guys, and see what we get here. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is definitely a divine masculine that chose to go the opposite way. For some of you guys, again, there could have been some type of toxic behavior. This masculine is definitely um, turned a different way, a different route. Mm-hmm. Really nice energy here. Okay. Definitely a shift. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the tarot and see what we get here. I'm seeing something to do with cycles, some type of cycle coming to an end. I know this no contact cycle is coming to an end, but let's go ahead and take a look at what's ahead. What is ahead for this connection? Yeah, let's take a look here and see what is ahead for this connection, you guys. Hold on. What is ahead for this connection? What does the collective need to know? Divine feminine, divine masculine, what is ahead for this connection? Yeah. Clear message for the collective. Oh, cards is getting away from me here. Cards is getting away from me. Mm-hmm. Ciao. I know this person is going to be coming back towards you, right? So you are going to be receiving a message from this person. Spirit, please give us more information on what's ahead for this connection. What does Divine Feminine need to know regarding this connection? You guys... Yeah, what are their true feelings? What are their intentions? Mm-hmm. True feelings and intentions going forward with this connection. What we got, Spirit? Please give us a clear message. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so we have the chariot card here. This person is going to be, the wheels are already in motion. So this person is already knowing what they want. Okay, again, I, you know, they may have been distorted in nature in the past, but with the chariot card here, this person knows exactly what they want and they are going to be coming towards you. Okay, the wheels are already in motion. Okay, um, the, the intention has already been set. They've already set the intentions, right? They have no, look, they have no intentions of a tower moment with you. I'm seeing everything. There's going to be a celebration, right? A public celebration. Remember I told you there's some jealous energies that are going to be pissed. They thought that there was a tower moment, right? They thought that you guys were done. 
okay? I feel like you were that couple that a lot of people were jealous of. No, this masculine is coming back towards you. Mm-hmm, yeah. This masculine is coming back towards you, okay? And it's already, like I said, this is already in motion, okay? This is already in motion. The intentions have already been set, right? So, uh, <laughs> and I'm seeing that you guys, by having this separation, you did avoid this tower moment, right? Taurus energy. I'm picking up on Taurus energy here, okay? So, somebody could be a Taurus. You could be a Taurus. Your person could be a Taurus. You could have Taurus in your chart, okay? Yeah. Ciao. Yeah, somebody's going to be there. Look somebody's going to be mad, right? Because the thing of it is, they were, there's a lot of people that was jealous of this relationship is what I'm picking up on. Yeah. There was a lot of jealousy. You had a lot of haters around here. I feel like that's where that seed of doubt came from regarding this connection. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's where the seeds of doubt were planted. What else we got, Spirit? That's why they were, because there's a lot of jealous energy. That's where it came from. Spirit, please give us more. And I feel like this person is definitely regretting that, right? Look, Pisces energy. I told you, and we're in that Pisces moon energy. And here we are. We have the moon, Pisces energy. Very deep emotions that are going to be revealed to you. You're going to get a message from this person, okay? Okay. This communication is going to be opened up. This no contact, no, this person's ending it because this person is really getting tired of not having you in their energy, right? Not having you next to them. This person wants you next to them physically, right? Remember I was saying um, this person's having trouble sleeping and things like that. Yeah, they go to sleep thinking about you. They wake up thinking about you. They're tired of thinking about you. They want you there in the flesh is what I'm getting, okay? For sure, yeah. This person wants you next to them. And they're not going to allow this to happen again because I feel like this person is really kicking themselves because it's like, why couldn't they have solved this with you? without being in no contact. They feel like they should have never let this separation happen. They realize now that they needed to meet your emotional needs, right? Look at that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pisces energy. Pisces energy on the board. Yeah, but they definitely feel guilty for not meeting your needs emotionally for sure. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Uh-huh. Taking action to come towards you. We have the Knight of Wands, right? So this person is definitely taking action to me. Very action-oriented, right? I told you, this person is tired of not having you by their side, right? Mm-hmm. They're so proud to have you. Like on their arm, what we used to say back in the day, is so proud to sport you. Like this person wants to show you off type of energy. So these, these birds, I'm picking up like birds on a wire, a lot of gossip and stuff. Justice. I'm picking up that they, huh? They better get ready because, um, yeah. This masculine is headed back towards you. I'm seeing justice. Somebody could be a Libra. You could be a Libra. Your person could be a Libra. You could have Libra in your chart, okay? Yeah, somebody is a Libra here, okay? So again, your person could be a Libra. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. Yeah, they could be a Libra. Mm-hmm. What else we got, Spirit? Mm. Yeah, that Libra energy. What else do we have? Thank you, Spirit. Look, Sun card. 
sun card. We have unbridled joy, bliss, right? A lot of blissful energy here. Mm-hmm. What else we got? Spirit, please give us more for the collective. What else do we have here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of unbridled joy here, right? So you guys are going to be extremely happy. There's going to be a lot of happiness when you guys come back together, right? You guys might not be coming outside for a while. I'm keeping it PG, but y'all know what I mean here. You know what I mean. Spare, please give us more. Please give us more for the collective, right? Look, they're having you back at all costs. They're going to have you back, right? This person wants to win you back at all costs. They're willing to do whatever they need to do. Again, they, this person sees where they went wrong, right? They see where they made the error, okay? And this person definitely is going to be big on communication coming back in towards you. Yeah, definitely big on communication, okay? Because this person sees that's where the breakdown was before, and they're definitely, definitely not allowing that to happen again, okay? Definitely not allowing that to happen again. Spirit, what else do we have for the collective? Things are definitely shifting with regards to this connection. Definitely shifting, okay? Definitely seeing a shift. Okay, and you're going to see that this person's different, right? So they may not have been um, very communicative, right? Like they may not have been like the one that wants to like sit down and talk a lot. No, this person's going to want to know your feelings, right? So y'all get ready for the communication, y'all. Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more for the collective. Oh, what we got here? Yeah, Queen of Wands. So this person's definitely hoping that you want to pour into this connection as well, right? They're hoping that you're going to be open to this connection, okay? Um, they're hoping that you have the same energy. They're hoping that you're going to come. When they come back, they're hoping that you're going to be in the same energy as them, right? They're hoping that your energies match is what I'm getting, is what I'm trying to say, right? Yeah, they're hoping that you match that energy, uh-huh, that they're coming in with, right? Yeah. Wow, you guys, this is really nice energy, okay? I feel like there's been, somebody's been holding back. I feel like this person maybe too, when they were with you, they were really holding back too, okay? As far as not communicating their true feelings or being vulnerable. So they definitely had to work on some stuff like that too. Yeah, they definitely had to work on that. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Mm-hmm. They had to work on trust and being vulnerable as well. Because again, divine feminine, I feel like you did get, you get your share of attention, right? Oh, you get your share of attention. Okay. And that could be a little bit intimidating, right? This person could have been a bit intimidated, but look, they want <laughs> They're coming back for the happily ever after with you. Queen of Pentacles. They're trying to spoil you. Oh, child, that's nice energy. Yeah, I'm seeing they are trying to spoil you, right? Mm-hmm, I'm seeing they have been in their head about you. Like I said, they are going to sleep thinking about you when they can sleep, right? Because I feel like this person hasn't been getting a lot of sleep during this no contact. It's like they can't sleep without you. They can't eat without you. They can't drink without you, like... Yeah, that type of energy is what I'm picking up on, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the type of energy that I'm picking up on. Wow, you guys. Spare, please give us more. Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine, please give us more for the collective. Wow. I do see you guys coming back in union. I see 
you guys coming back together. I see this person coming back towards you. Um, I'm definitely seeing a message coming in. So you could be receiving a DM. Um, you could be receiving a message. Um, I don't feel like you have this person blocked for some of you guys, right? I don't feel like this person is blocked from communicating with you, okay? I feel like, you know, I feel like the door was left open with both of you guys, right? You guys knew that this wasn't over when you went into this no contact. You knew that this wasn't over. You knew that this wasn't it, right? Neither one of you guys were ready to let go for good, all right? Not at all, okay? Spirit, please give us more. Oh, page of pentacles, right? A message of good news coming in towards you. Look at this, wanting to have everything with you. Okay, so we do have the 10 of pentacles. I told you this person is trying to spoil you. And look, I'm seeing, look, you got options and they know it, right? So they're not going to stay away from you long. And here comes the Knight of Cups, the charming love offer coming in towards you. You guys, sorry I went so long. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. But here is the love offer coming in, right? This is the charming love offer coming in. All right. So you guys. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love you. Bye.